In this video I want to go over booting a Raspberry Pi from a USB drive. I want to thank YouTuber Casey James for encouraging me to do this and uh, I want to go over uh, the process of installing uh, the drives but before I do that I want to go over the different options you have for attaching a USB drive to a Raspberry Pi. This is a uh, the first option here. Uh, I have a cheap micro SD card. It doesn't have to be fast. It just needs to work. And then I have a SanDisk Extreme Pro USB 3.0 uh, flash drive. Now the Raspberry Pi does not support USB 3.0, but this is a fast flash drive. It'll downgrade to 2.0. It's also a very slippery drive. Uh, so this is the first option, and this is a 32 gig drive. I'll plug this into USB and then I can set this up so it starts off with the micro SD card and then switches over to the to boot from the USB drive. The second option I've tested is a Seagate uh, hard drive. It's an external hard drive, uh, rotational drive, has a U USB 2.0 interface and I would plug that into the USB drive, USB jack here use the same micro SD card to boot and then you plug your Raspberry Pi in and you plug in your hard drive and that's an option. This is the third option and it's a little bit of a rat's nest. What I have here is a Sabrent uh, USB 3.0 hard drive enclosure. When I plugged this into the Raspberry Pi it didn't seem to work. But I found that when I ran it through a USB 2.0 hub, it did work. So what you need to do here is plug your hard drive into your hub, and then plug your hub, like I said, this is a rat's nest, into your Raspberry Pi. Now, when you do this, one thing you can do is then power your Raspberry Pi off that same hub. So that eliminates having to have a separate connector. So now you have a, uh, a power adapter for your hub and a power adapter for your hard drive. You're not going to be able to power your, like a self-powered hard drive off of the Raspberry Pi. You're going to need two adapters if you're going to boot with a rotational hard drive off a of Raspberry Pi. So this is an option. It seems weird to even offer this option when the Seagate drive uh, doesn't have this rat's nest, but this was actually quite a bit faster than the Seagate. The Seagate's a little bit older drive. They're both 500 gigabyte hard drives, but this uh, drive combination is very fast. So if you're setting up network attached storage, this would probably be a good, pretty good option. For the video today though, I'm going to use the USB 3.0 flash drive, just easier to hook up, and it's the same procedure for all of these hard drives. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I want to say is I'm going to be setting this up with a an Ubuntu 14.04 uh, system running on the Raspberry Pi 2. You can also do the same procedure with Raspbian. Uh, to get started, uh, I'm going to open up Disk Utility. If you're on a Windows machine, the utilities are going to be different. I can't provide those for you, but uh, the procedure is going to be basically the same. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive and my SD card, and they should both show up in here. Okay, I'm going to click on the drive and I'm going to hit erase, uh, fat, format, and then I'll just call this USB drive. And I'll call the other one SD card. So now I have two drives. I've got the uh, USB drive and SD card. I'll close out of the disk utility. Now we'll want to open up a terminal. And we're going to type disk util list. And we'll see there's a disk 2 and a disk 4 here that correspond to the SD card and the USB drive. And we'll need to write an image to the USB drive. Typically, we would write that to the SD card, but for this procedure, we'll write it to the USB drive. 
I'll put a link in the description to the Ubuntu image that I'm using. You can also use the Raspbian image. I've already downloaded it in my downloads folder. So before we write the image, we need to unmount the USB drive. So I'll type in disk util, unmount disk, forward slash dev, forward slash disk4. Now to write it, we'll type in sudo space dd space if for in file equals 2015 blah 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 image. You want the name of your image in there. Space out file of equals forward slash dev forward slash r disk four space bs equals one m. It'll ask you for your password here. Um, typically, I've already typed mine in. So now it's writing the image to the flash drive. Now, since I'm on a Mac with USB 3.0, this shouldn't take too long. Um, if you're using a, a system with a USB 2.0 interface, it'll take a little bit longer. So now we have, uh, it's mounted no name, which is the fat partition on the image file. So I'll open up uh, my no name partition and the SD card and I'll take these files and I'll copy them over. So that didn't take very long. Now on the SD card, we wanna go into command line. So you want to go to this where it says root equals dev MMC BLK zero P2. And we want to change this to dev forward slash SDA2. So this will tell the SD card to boot from the USB drive. We'll save this file. And then I'm going to go into my config and change some settings. These aren't necessary uh, for making this work, but there's some optimizations I like to do. We can overclock right here. So we can type arm underscore freak equals 1000. Core underscore freak equals 500. SDRAM freak equals 500 over voltage equals two. I'm also going to disable overscan and I'm going to set my HDMI mode to four which is uh, 720p but that's just for this video you don't really need to do that. You could disable overscan if you have a black frame around your screen. So now I'll save this file, close it, and I can eject these two partitions. And I'll remove the drives and I'll put these in my Raspberry Pi and boot it up. So um, I'll close out this session on my Mac and next time you see me, it'll be on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I've put the uh, SD card in the Raspberry Pi and the USB flash drive and I've booted it up and I have a login prompt that shows me that it booted from the USB drive, but there's still a little bit more work to do. Uh, first, I'll need to log in. Uh, the login on the Ubuntu build is Ubuntu, and the password is Ubuntu. If you want to see my Ubuntu build, uh, just in general, I have another video on that. I'll put links in the description for those things. The first thing I'm going to do here is adjust the uh, font on the screen. This is just for purposes of this video uh, to make it a little bit easier to read. If you're curious, I'm using the uh, Terminus Bold, and I'm going to go with a 3216. Okay, if we type df space dash h, we'll see here that uh, there's 1.1 gigabytes available uh, on the drive, and we have a 32 gigabyte flash drive plugged in. So we need to resize some partitions to make that available. So in order to do that, we need to type in sudo space fdisk space 
forward slash dev forward slash SDA. If we type in P, we can print out the partition table. We'll need to type in D for delete and then two for the second partition. Then we'll need to type in N for new, D for primary, two for second. We're gonna do the default for the partition start and the default for the end. And then we're gonna type in W to write the partition table. Now we're going to reboot by typing in sudo space reboot. And now we'll type in sudo space resize 2fs space forward slash dev forward slash sda2. We'll type in our password. And now if we type in df space dash h, you'll see that there's 28 gigabytes available. So now we have a basic working system. From this point on, you can, uh, since I'm using Ubuntu, it doesn't come with X environment, so you can install a window manager on it or do whatever you want with this. Um, this is very useful if you're building a network attached storage or something where you need a lot of storage, you need a big hard drive. This also gives you faster speed than booting from the uh, internal SD card. Uh, so if you have a slow SD card and a fast flash drive, this is a good option. Now, for my own personal use, if I'm going to use this uh, like just as an appliance um, and I don't need the speed, uh, or if I want moderate speed, I might just use a fast micro SD card. But if you need speed for some application, uh, this is a good option. In a future video, I'll be setting up the Myth TV backend um, using uh, this procedure. Instead of a flash drive, I'll actually use a hard drive to get more storage. So that is a, certainly one reason where this is useful. So if you like this video, please uh, hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. And again, I want to thank Casey James for uh, encouraging me to boot from a USB drive because it's a, it's a really good option if you want the most speed out of your Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching, bye.